All right, guys, not much of an intro today. We're uh, straight to business, but I got Ish with Fish with me here, and we're out at the surf trying to find some striped bass or perch. If, if the striper around around, but really we're targeting striper. And I'm gonna start off throwing the sand crab here. And I've been in a little bit of a, uh, I've been in a little bit of a dry spell with the striper, so hoping to break that today. I think it's about 7.30 p.m. right now, this is the evening, evening side. And uh, high tide I think is around 7.30, 8-ish, something like that. So ideally good conditions. We'll see if there's any fish out here. There we go. There's our first fish on the sand crab. This is about like my fourth or fifth cast, something like that. No skunk. Not a bad little red tail perch. These have to be ten and a half inches in California in order to keep. He's probably pretty close, but we'll let him go or her go, I should say. It's a female. All right, first fish. Goodbye. Super foggy out here today, so apologize when this screen here gets uh, a little fogged up. I'll do my best, but not going to be ideal. Let's just say that right off the bat. Number two. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, a little bit better. This time a bar. Probably about one pound, maybe a little less. Maybe 10 or 11 inches. Not too bad. Still not a giant, but hey, that's a start. Two species, now let's see if we can get a third. <coughs> Striped bass. Oh, we even got the same bait on here. Let's try this bait again. See if we catch two fish with the same bait. a little better one. I think. Feels a little bit heavier. Oh well, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a nice red tail right there. So red tail, like I said earlier, have to be ten and a half inches here in California. This one's Definitely 10 and a half inches. I'd say it's probably around 12 to 13 inches or so. So, this one's going in the bag. Look at how fat it is. There might be. I've never really caught that many red tails. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it is. Do you have any luck on any bites? All right guys, as you can probably tell by the video, we're moving towards low light. It's about nine o'clock, almost nine o'clock now, which uh, is after sunset. And I think we're gonna be switching over to the Lucky Craft Flash Minnow here pretty soon. We're gonna take a couple more casts of the sand crab and, uh, and then we're gonna switch over to the hard bait trying to find a striper. That's the goal. I mean, we'll always take perch, but striper is the goal. I know. How can there not be a fish in there? I'll show you the setup we got here. So there's a sandbar to my right. And there's a deep, deep hole right to my left here. And what I'm doing is casting on the sandbar and then letting the current 
take my bait, drift right off the sandbar into the hole. And I think that's where these fish are kind of sitting in the deeper water, waiting for that feed to come sweeping off of that sandbar. And that's where they're scooping up the sand crab. So hopefully they can find a couple more in here. We'll see. There's a good bite. Another run on the sand crab. Guess we can't give up on it yet. Right on the drop off. Yep, another solid, I think there's a, no, another red tail. Another solid red tail. Okay, last cast of the sand crab. Officially dark. We've officially activated light mode. We've officially activated the SP minnow, or sorry, the slash minnow. All right. Do you cast here? Uh, what do you think? Really? I don't know. It's up to you. I'll do five casts. How about that? Final ten. Final ten. Ten? Okay, ten casts. Ten casts, he said. All right, that was one. That's five. Oh, fish on. Wow. Look at that. Always on the last cast. I don't know what this is. Perch? Striper? I don't know. It's feeling kind of heavy. Oh, I think it's a striper. Totally by surprise. I was kind of giving up hope. And then this guy just came out out of nowhere. Huh? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, no. Hey. Whoa. Fuck yeah. They exist. I can't believe that. Wow. Please, keeper. Totally by surprise. Oh, I got a dude on the way out. <laughs> I know, I right? Cast that. that was like the seventh cast. Wow. Not bad. All right, well, there you have it. Fish said 10 casts. And on, I think it was the seventh cast, this guy came out, snipped at my Lucky Craft flash window, and we got him up on the surf. Or on the sand, I should say. Night bite strikes again. On that note, we'll catch you guys back at the house. I guess hopefully for. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching the video. My first surf striped bass in a while, and we caught it on a plug the Lucky Craft Flashman. I'll leave that link down below. You might want to get one because we have a surf fishing tournament coming up. It's uh, hosted by none other than More Than Fishing, another local YouTuber. I'll leave him a link down below if you want to check him out. Basically the striped bass uh, guru around here. So it's going to be a fun tournament. If you don't know about it, check it out. I'll leave all the information down below. And lucky for you guys, if you haven't entered yet, I'm going to be giving away one free entry. And uh, all you have to do to enter is leave a comment down below how big in inches of a striped bass you think it's going to take to win the tournament. And I'll just pick a random comment 
and I'm gonna announce the winner on my Instagram page on June 30th. And the reason I'm doing June 30th is because the last day to register is July 1st. So if you didn't win the giveaway, you'll still have a little bit of time to enter the tournament uh, the conventional way. So make sure you follow me on Instagram if you wanna be in the know. I'll still announce it on the YouTube page, but that won't be until after the registration is closed. So if you wanna be in the know, make sure you follow me on Instagram. If you do decide to enter, make sure you're able to attend the event. It's July 13th here in the Bay Area. Other than that, I'll be doing my best to uh, outfish all of you guys at the tournament. We'll see you there.